this video, I want to talk about some of the most common hidden flaws. This is not a complete list of hidden flaws. It's just some of the most common. Okay, so here's the first one. The first one has to do with rolling over. Rolling over happens when a hitter goes to make an effort to hit the ball and he gets to the rough area of contact. And from contact to the power V, instead of staying in play, what you see is, is the hitter begin to roll over and the bat head go up. It happens between approximately contact and the power of eight. And the problem is if a hitter is not in great timing, if he's a little bit out front, like on a changeup, he's expecting basketball gets a changeup, he'll hit the top of the ball and roll over. So the first common hitting flaw is rolling over, okay? The second common hitting flaw that I see is bat drag. So bat drag is when, especially on younger kids, five, six, seven, eight year olds, they get into the habit of bat drag because the bat is too heavy when they first start playing key ball. What happens is you'll notice that their back elbow, their, uh, their top hand elbow is closer to the pitcher than the knot. This elbow closer to the pitcher than the knot. It's the only way they can swing a bat. The problem is they continue to grow and play, and they continue to have bat drag. Now, bat drag makes your swing much longer back here, much longer back here. So we want to make sure that we can avoid bat drag. Bat drag, again, is when the top hand elbow gets closer to the pitcher than the knot making the string, the swing way too long back here. Premature flattening of the bat as well. Okay, the next thing I see that's a concern is squishing the bug. Squishing the bug. So squishing the bug is something I know that I've taught kids uh, back many, many years ago. And it's basically, if you watch my back heel here, my back side, it's this movement here where my heel goes behind the toe. The fact is, if you watch most hitters hit, this is what you're going to see. You'll see this, you'll see this action here, maybe even a little drag, but you won't see this. When that happens, what that means is, is that your knee really isn't going knee to knee, and that's a problem. So we want to try to avoid squishing the bug. Another issue is arm barring. Arm barring is when the hitter begins to stride, and as he strides, he pushes back. And you can see the bottom hand beginning to straighten out. Okay? The bottom forearm, the bottom arm, I should say, beginning to straighten out here. Arm barring makes our swing very long to the back side. Feels good, but it doesn't help. And the last common flaw I see is timing. Timing. Sometimes the mechanic, the swing, looks terrible. And you'll think that you need to work on the mechanics of the swing. And the fact is, is that the player's timing is bad. So I always like to be aware of, when are they dropping their front heel? Where is the ball when they drop their front heel? If the ball is out 12, 13 feet out in front when they drop their front heel to commit to the pitch, that's great. But if the ball is in on them, maybe six feet away, and they drop their heel to commit to hit, they're too late. Their timing is bad. And if your timing is bad, what happens is, is you're going to skip over some of the steps in your mechanics. So imagine one, two, three, four, five. If your timing is bad, you know, one, two, five. And so we have to really be careful of these things. So these are some of the most common hitting flaws that uh, this program will help you with.